Happy Friday, everybody. We had a unique coffee session this morning, coffee chat session, where we brainstormed about hybrid meetings and what is involved with hybrid meetings and what questions do we have with hybrid meetings? By the way, what do we mean by hybrid meetings? We mean meetings where uh, it's happening both in person and online and we feel that we're going to get more and more requests for these kinds of meetings as people begin to go back into the office. And I've been pretty resistant to trying to do hybrid. I think my initial reaction is it creates inequity in the process. And so how can this be a good idea? However, because of um, customer trends and needs, this may become a thing. We may need to figure out how to do this in a way that's going to serve the process and the participants. And so we, bra we started the conversation this morning just brainstorming our questions, which are in the pink, um, being able to continue to create a meaningful experience. Is there a way to maybe use Miro or Mural? Um, for example, Miro, I know, has a, a way for you to take pictures of live sticky notes. So maybe in the room, you take pictures of the live sticky notes, and then it will automatically transcribe those into Miro post-its which may be a really nice solution to working off of one board, but enabling the people in person to do things on their board. So many questions around this. We talked a lot about setting norms um, at the beginning of the meeting and uh, norms for success. Uh, one person brought up game storming, the seven principles in the first chapter of game storming as a good set of norms. Thinking about how we use materials, and we got into some more theoretical conversations about how do we define hybrid meetings at all. What technology is, is, is required? For example, in addition to a tech host, which has become standard practice for virtual facilitation, if you're going to do a hybrid meeting, you probably need a good AV person. Know any? <laughs> I'd love to get an AV collaborator who can be on site to help set up meetings that are hybrid and just own that whole piece of the process. So thinking about technology, thinking about staffing, this is kind of neat. There's a meeting owl tool. I don't know if you've ever seen this, but this uh, meeting owl is it uh, it turns it turns its head in the direction of um, of someone who's talking. So in the room, people who are online can see who's talking in the room. If that makes sense. So look up meeting owls. Let me know what you think. I'm not going to sell you on this yet because I haven't tried it myself. Um, we talked a little bit about accessibility um, and just thinking about how you create good staffing models for this. You know, you might need a virtual facilitator, an online facilitator, multiple facilitators, and your technology and AV crew. Then there's this whole other a whole other conversation around safety protocols and what do you do if safety is not enforced? Um, you know, perhaps you refuse to do the work altogether if it's not enforced. I love this. Maybe even physicalizing, is that a word? It is now. Physicalizing anybody online in the room, maybe an empty chair with their name on it or put stickies by the phone to represent that person physically and so people don't forget. How do we use breakouts? We didn't really get to that. So I would be totally interested in your thoughts. My initial thought with hybrid meeting is <clears throat> to actually do it separately, do an in-person meeting and then do a modified meeting online but come together where everybody is online or using the same tools in order to do any decision making that's needed with everybody there. So I think there's definitely some creative ways to do hybrid. I'd love to continue the conversation. I'm sure it's going to be something we talk a lot about in many a coffee chat to come. I hope you'll join us. Uh, thank you for watching this recap video and I look forward to chatting with you soon.